Mr. Matt Wentz, Mr. Jay Crawford. Uh, we're just over here. Uh, we're, we're having a fascinating conversation about the dynamics of a septic system. <laughs> oh, well, you just have wow. that conversation yeah. okay. later. It when you're not around. It doesn't stink. It's a good <laughs> conversation. It really is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Your word of the day is mm -hmm. frosty. Okay, off nice transition. Off of, oh, I thought it was off of septic. Okay. No, <laughs> definitely not off septic. It. Okay. You know, they say that they're going to make some changes to the Wendy's menu. I'm yeah. cool with that. Just don't mess with don't my Don't mess frosty. with the frosty, right. Yeah, do you so. ever do the flavored frosty or you stick sure. with the chocolate? No, I'll you venture do? out. Yeah. Okay. I'll, you know, <laughs> live a little. I'm, I live on the edge. Good. Okay. All yeah, right. for sure. Very good. Uh, live look right now. You can notice clap. Is that our flight, Jay? There it is. That's our flight. That's it's it. circling the key tower there, coming around. That's our flight from Phoenix. 516. Welcome to Cleveland, everybody. It's cloudy today and cold, but it'll get better. Widespread rain moving in tonight. If you have Friday evening plans, we're good. No problems tonight whatsoever. In fact, the wind has been on the lighter side. Not a bad day. And then the clouds will continue to thicken up this evening, and we're talking rain by yeah, after midnight. We'll start to move in here from the south. If you've been following the weather the last couple of days, we watched that frontal boundary head down to the south. It stalled down towards the Ohio River Valley. Notice the rain just continues in waves. We're just getting clouds off of that, thankfully. And that flood threat continues from downstate, down towards areas near Marietta, uh, Cincinnati. Down towards Evansville, Indiana, they've got big old flood problems in southern Missouri right now. There's a big severe weather threat on the southern end of this as well, expecting a pretty decent tornado outbreak to start over the next couple hours. Areas of Mississippi going to be in the influence of that as well. All that activity stays to the south. That's good news. This frontal boundary that we have is separating our late winter air from the spring like air down to the south. They've got widespread 70s and 80s here, but the new low pressure that developed, this is the one that's going to impact our weather tomorrow. This low is going to head off towards the north and the east. It's going to take this spring like air and pull it up here briefly tomorrow during the day. We've got about a two to four hour stretch of some almost summer like weather around here, and then it's going to be out of here like nothing. Look at the temperature difference. It's 37 Cleveland, 71 Nashville it gets warmer from there. Again, that warm air is going to be pulled to the north. So here's how it evolves. All the rain moves through, low pressure develops. Here's where the warm air comes in right here, but then it heads out towards the east and we pull in cold air from Canada on the back side of the system. All this happens tomorrow. The primary threat from this locally is actually the wind. Look at the wind energy as this low gets going. There are widespread wind advisories, even some high wind warnings out towards the Great Lakes. Uh, thank goodness this isn't colder because it would feel really frosty outside with some of this cold air around. You notice we've got wind advisories for all of our counties. Gusts tomorrow, 35 to 50. So let's take you through the wind first because this is our primary impact. Tomorrow morning, gusts 20 to 30. It won't be that windy tomorrow morning. Once we hit noon, though, watch out. Look at these winds ramping up. We'll have gusts 35 to 50 from noon till about four. In fact, this model indicating perhaps some 60 mile per hour gusts. I think that might be a little bit high, but it's going to be really windy tomorrow afternoon. So tomorrow morning, even tonight, secure any loose objects you might have. Maybe you've been doing some gardening or getting out. You might want to get all that stuff secured down throughout the day tomorrow. Winds will eventually turn westerly and they'll subside quickly on into tomorrow evening. Now let's talk rain. Your National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. Here comes the rain tonight. By midnight, moving on in, we've got a soaker of a rain event tonight into early tomorrow morning, but then the rain's out of here. Six, seven, eight o'clock in the morning. The bulk of the rain's out. We're left with scattered showers. Temperatures starting to climb. 830 in the morning. We're now in the 50s. That south wind is going to pull that warm air mass in here with some sunshine. I think we break out in the sun probably around noon, maybe one o'clock from south to north. This is your time to get outside and enjoy it. I promise the kids that I'd get out the blow up pool tomorrow. As long as we have some stakes for it, we'll be OK. I know it's just 60s, but we may overperform and get into the upper 60s, and that feels really nice. So then that continues throughout, you know, two, three, four o'clock in the afternoon. But then we bring our cold front in pretty quickly after that. Remember, it's going to be real windy during this time. Cold front comes in by five o'clock. We're back down into the 40s. By evening, we're in the 30s, and we're talking maybe some lake effect snow tomorrow night after having a day with highs in the 60s. So if you have Saturday evening plans, going to be much different than Saturday lunch plans. Union Home Mortgage seven day forecasts were in the 60s and falling tomorrow. Sunday looks good. I think we'll have some sunshine followed by late day clouds, but comfortable. And then next week we stay cooler, but overall pleasant for springtime with just some varying shower chances later in the week. But what a wild day tomorrow. We're going to start cool, get warm and then get cool, if not cold later in the day.
So you're going to save some water uh, <laughs> on your water bill by just putting the pool out there and letting the rain fill it up. Is right. That right. Well, we'll probably have to fill it with some warm water. Let's be honest. Yeah, well, that's true. Yeah, because I'll be over. I live 2.2 miles yeah. from Matt Wentz. Yep. And uh, I, I haven't yet received my invitation for the pool party, but <laughs> let me know what time to show up. <laughs> you said you had all these indoor plans. I thought well, you were taking. So, Liz, I always everybody. have indoor plans until you tell me that you're opening up the pool. Okay. I'll text you the info. All right, Matt. Thank you.